Have you ever wondered what's the best way to grow microgreens? Welcome to our exploration of these tiny, nutrient-packed plants that are making a big impact on the culinary world. Microgreens, the adolescent version of edible plants like lentils, are known for their intense flavors and health benefits. Today, we're going to delve into two popular methods of cultivating these miniature marvels. The wet paper towel method, and the traditional soil method. In the wet paper towel method, microgreens are grown on a moistened paper towel, providing them with just the right amount of water to germinate. On the flip side, the soil method utilizes nature's original growing medium, providing the plants with a rich array of nutrients from the get-go. As we journey through this comparison, we'll be examining factors such as the ease of setup, maintenance, and most importantly, the yield of each method. Stay tuned as we dive into the details of each method and discover which one yields better results. First up, we're exploring the method of growing microgreens on a wet paper towel. Submerge yourself in the simplicity of this method. All you need is a tray, a paper towel, your chosen seeds, and of course, water. Start by laying your paper towel flat in the tray. It's important to ensure that the towel completely covers the bottom of the tray. Next, soak the paper towel thoroughly with water. It should be wet, but not swimming. You want to create a moist environment for your seeds, not a pool party. Now evenly scatter your seeds over the wet paper towel. There's no need to bury them, just let them sit on top. Once your seeds are in place, cover the tray with another tray or lid. This will create a dark, humid environment for the seeds to germinate. After a few days, the seeds will sprout and start to grow into microgreens. At this point, you can remove the cover and place the tray in a sunny spot. Ensure the paper towel remains moist throughout the growing period. Within one to two weeks, your microgreens should be ready to harvest. The advantages of this method are numerous. It's simple, requires no soil, and it's relatively mess-free. It's also a great method for beginners or those with limited space. However, there are a few drawbacks. First, the paper towel substrate does not hold nutrients like soil, so the microgreens may not be as nutrient-dense. Second, the paper towel can dry out quickly, requiring more frequent watering. Lastly, the roots of the microgreens can sometimes grow into the paper towel, making the harvesting process a bit tricky. That wraps up our first method, but how does it compare to growing microgreens in soil? Let's find out. Now, we're moving on to our second method, growing microgreens in soil. Just as it sounds, this method involves planting your microgreens directly into soil. The first step is to fill a tray with about an inch of high-quality potting soil. It's critical to use a soil rich in organic matter to provide your microgreens with the nutrients they need to thrive. Once your tray is filled, you'll want to evenly scatter your seeds across the surface of the soil. Be generous with your seed distribution as microgreens grow best when they're densely packed. After your seeds are sown, give them a light covering of soil. This not only helps to keep the seeds moist but also provides them with the darkness they need to germinate. Next up is watering. You'll want to mist your seeds gently but thoroughly. Be careful not to overwater, as this can lead to mold growth. It's a delicate balance but once you get the hang of it, it's as easy as pie. Now, you'll need to place your tray in a sunny spot. Microgreens love sunlight so the more the merrier. If you don't have access to a sunny spot don't worry, a grow light will do the trick just fine. One of the main advantages of growing microgreens in soil is that they tend to be more robust and flavorful. The soil provides them with a wealth of nutrients resulting in a stronger, more vibrant plant. On the downside, this method can be a bit messier and requires a bit more effort than the paper towel method. Remember to keep your microgreens moist but not waterlogged. Continue to provide them with plenty of sunlight, and within a week to 10 days, you should have a tray full of lush, vibrant microgreens ready to harvest. So, we have our two methods, but which one comes out on top? Let's compare. It's time to put our two methods to the test and see which one yields a better harvest. As we've seen, growing microgreens on a wet paper towel and in soil both have their unique processes. But what about the final outcome, the fruits of our labor? Let's delve into the comparison, starting with the harvest weight. When it comes to the harvest weight, the microgreens grown on a wet paper towel were noticeably lighter than those grown in soil. This could be due to the fact that the soil provides a more nutrient-rich environment, allowing the plants to grow larger and denser. But of course, weight isn't everything. Let's talk about taste. The microgreens grown on the paper towel had a slightly milder flavor, while those grown in soil had a more robust taste. This could be due to the minerals and organic matter in the soil, which may enhance the flavor of the plants. Next, let's consider texture. The microgreens grown in soil were a bit firmer, 
possibly due to the stronger roots they developed in the more stable soil environment. On the other hand, the paper towel-grown microgreens were a bit softer, which some might find more palatable. Now, on to nutritional value. While it's difficult to measure this without a laboratory, it's widely believed that plants grown in soil are more nutrient-dense due to the wide range of nutrients available in the soil. Paper towel-grown microgreens on the other hand are limited to the nutrients in the seeds and any added to the water. And finally, let's talk about convenience and ease of growth. The paper towel method is certainly simpler with fewer variables to consider. It's a great choice for beginners or those with limited space. However, the soil method, while more complex, can yield a more substantial harvest and potentially more flavorful and nutrient-dense microgreens. So, there you have it. Two different methods, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. But which one is the ultimate winner? Well, that depends. If you're looking for simplicity and ease, the paper towel method might be your champion, but if you're after a more substantial harvest and don't mind getting your hands a bit dirty, the soil method could be your victor. The choice, as always, is yours. As we wrap up our comparison, let's take a moment to reflect on our findings. We've explored two different methods of growing lentil microgreens, using a wet paper towel and using soil. Both methods have their unique advantages and challenges. Growing microgreens on a wet paper towel is a simple and clean process. It requires minimal equipment and is less messy than soil. It's ideal for those who are just starting their gardening journey, or for those who don't have much space. However, it's worth noting that this method might not provide the same level of nutrients as soil-grown microgreens. On the other hand, growing microgreens in soil is a more traditional approach and can yield a more nutrient-dense harvest. This method is perfect for those who have a bit more gardening experience and have access to outdoor space. However, it can be a bit messier and requires more effort to set up than the paper towel method. So, which method is better? Well, that depends on your specific circumstances and preferences. If you're a beginner or have limited space, the paper towel method might be a good starting point. But if you're more experienced and looking for a nutrient-dense harvest, or if you simply enjoy the process of working with soil, then that method might be more up your alley. The beauty of gardening is that there's always room for experimentation. There's no one-size-fits-all approach and what works best for one person might not work as well for another. No matter which method you prefer, growing your own microgreens is a rewarding experience. Give it a try and find out which method works